All right, so the reason I have my cello and stuff like this is so you guys can see all the fingerings and stuff as I explain it. Um, but the D melodic minor scale involves using your second finger um, <clears throat> on some of the notes. And then you're also going to be using an extended position uh, where the first hand or the first finger um, moves away from the second finger in the space of where the third finger would be and where the first finger would be. Um, so it's going to have that kind of spacing, even though we're not always going to be necessarily there. Um, that's what it means when I start saying stuff like extended fingering coming back. Um, so we'll start with the D melodic minor scale. First, you've got to know what the notes are. Uh, they are D, E, then F natural, which is that third note that's supposed to be lowered from F sharp, so that second finger there. G, A, B, C sharp, D. Coming down, you take that seventh note, which is C sharp, and lower it by half a step, which would make it C natural. Then you take the sixth note, which is B, and you would lower it and make it B flat, which is where you're gonna get that extended position from. Um, coming down the scale, A, G, still F natural with the second finger, E, and then D. Sounds like this, going up and then down. <laughs> The G melodic minor follows the same kind of pattern um, with it being B flat for the second finger instead of B natural. You've got E natural, F sharp going up, um, and then coming down you have F natural and E flat coming down, and then still B flat for that second finger. And it sounds like this. <laughs> questions please let me know I know the playing wasn't the best here I'll do that G1 again <laughs>